This was probably one of the most chaotic experiences I've had in a while at a concert. <laughs> Hi, this is my video diary now. <laughs> anyway, it's 9.45 right now, 15 minutes before tickets go on sale, and I am so, so, so freaking nervous, dude. <sighs> I don't know. I will be getting Miss Fast Times VIP, and I'm wearing my Fast Times merch to manifest those good vibes for me because I just, I just want it, I just want it, I just want it so bad, and I'm so nervous. Literally, the last time I was this nervous for concert tickets were freaking Ariana Grande 2019, getting the freaking T-Mobile pit. That was freaking nerve-wracking. <laughs> good luck, Charlie. I am an idiot, and I... I forgot that's how Ticket Freaking Master works. You have to like join a freaking waiting room and stuff. So there's five minutes left and I should have joined the waiting room like at 10 minutes, but I'm so stupid and I didn't. Ah, so this like literally like, I will go insane if, because of my stupid, bye, bye for now. Oh my God. Ah! I'm gonna die. Oh, hello. I'm still gonna die. Everything's fine. It's actually moving really fast, but like, please, fast times VIP, fast times VIP. Aww. See you soon. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting them. I'm getting them, baby. I'm getting them. Be right back. Be right back. Hold on. I only have like seven minutes. Oh my god. We freaking did it, baby. Let me not dox my um credit card, even though it's not the whole thing, but the last. But we did it. Hi. I'm good. I'm well. I'm I'm doing well. Thank you. See you guys in a month and 12, 13, a month and 13 days. Eh. Today's the day. Hold on. That's what I was saying. Today's the day. Yeah. Woo! It's like nine o'clock right now. I still have like classes today. I have two classes, but they're gonna be done at two. So then, yeah, I'm so tired, but it's okay. I think I'm, when I get back from classes, when I'm right before I'm about to head to the venue, etc., etc. Um, I think I'm gonna do like a little get ready with me, um, concert outfit, makeup, vibe, look, and then I'll talk to you guys more there about all the stuff that I want to talk about before pre-concert chit chat vibes. Okay, so I just want to do a little good luck Charlie video diary first. I look so bad, but it's fine. It's fine because I just woke up and like you're supposed to look bad when you wake up, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, anyway, that's it. I'm gonna stop talking now. Bye, see you guys soon. Shout out emergency intercom, woo! <laughs> Hi, we have entered my bathroom now. It is 2.30, I'm planning to leave at three. Um, also, I'm very, very anxious and nervous right now. My anxious, nervous little brain will never not be freaking nervous on a concert day because I'm like, oh my God, am I late? I, I, oh, I will always feel late, even if I have the most like highest VIP ever, which has only happened like one other time. But even if I have like VIP, early entry, whatever, like. I will always freaking feel late. And that's what I'm feeling right now. So we're just gonna jump right in to this um, get ready with me concert moment, which, which, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if any of this will make sense, but let's hope for the best. First things first, put in contacts. I'm like, I feel like I'm talking so fast because like this needs to be fast. But um, I made like a little list last night of like things I want to talk about during the get ready with me. So I'm definitely going to do that as we do it. Okay, let me put my contact in first and then I'll finish that little sentence. <laughs> We're freaking good now, okay. Oh, that was so annoying, dude. Okay, <laughs> so now we're gonna do the makeup. By the way, this isn't what I'm wearing. This is just what I want to wear as I do my makeup because I don't want to have anything to get dirty because like, I'm a little messy girl when it comes to makeup sometimes. So we're not gonna have that. First things first, let me put on some sunscreen. I will link everything down below because I'm just gonna be talking now. So like, I'll link all the stuff that I'm using. Or no, I'll put like um, the name of it like on screen somewhere. But first things first, sunscreen. So what I wanted to talk about before was that like I used to be such a person that would always like look at um, concert vlogs. For like the artists I was seeing, like days leading up to my show, I would always like be like, okay, like I need to watch as many concert vlogs as I can. Like I need to be informed about when people are showing up to the venues, when people like what's going on at the concert, how does things work? Is it like a weird moment? Like, I don't know, like I always just needed to know everything that I could. So that is like what I want to like kind of tell you guys about today with this concert vlog. But yeah, I just want this video to be like as informative as possible for people like me that would be obsessed or that are obsessed with like looking up concert vlogs for like whatever show they're going to to like get all the tea basically. And I'll try to provide enough tea as you can, enough tea as I can for you guys. Aww. I think I might have mentioned this, but like for this show, I got VIP 
um the fast times vip which is like the highest vip you can get so like maybe my experience might not be that like beneficial for some people because like you know i get like the early entry whatever blah blah, blah. this is not like a freaking brag check but like it's just like the, the facts it's just the facts but i feel like it's still i hope like for other people that have vip and stuff maybe this could help you like know what to expect because it told me the exact time that i need to show up um what time check-in is and i'll insert a picture of like all the e all the stuff they sent me in that email like here somewhere like on the screen so you guys can see it i feel like this might be the basics for all venues unless your venue start time is like maybe like a little different but i feel like this might be like the general of like for all shows what it will be like so i hope you use that information if you need it slay <laughs> they also send you like a release form thing like you have to sign it you can sign it during the show too but like it's like a e-sign thing so i just did it when they sent me that little email i feel like there's nothing more to say about it like if you have it so i'm gonna head to the venue around three we'll see it's 2 43 right now so like maybe that's a little maybe that's a little outside of the box but i went on twitter and like i looked up sabrina atlanta because like I said, I watched a lot of concert videos. I also go on Twitter and see what people are saying, like people that are going to the concert, if anyone. I'm just like, okay, so what time are you showing up? Like, are people there? Blah, blah, blah. And yes, there are people there right now. I don't know what the mix of like VIP to like GA people is, but I heard that there are some VIP people lining up. And I also heard that the first person that lined up was at like 9.30 in the morning. So maybe that could be like good information for like anybody going. I know for this one, I shouldn't be worried because you know, I have VIP, like I will be getting barricade. I, it's fine, but it just never feels freaking fine, dude. It never feels fine. So yeah, I'd be stressed or whatever. <laughs> Let's have a little fun moment. Um, what songs I would really kill to hear on the set list tonight? Um, so first, I would love to hear Honeymoon Fades. Honeymoon Fades Supremacy, like, actually. Um, because that song, we never got to hear anything live of it. Like, this is her first tour since, like, 2018? No, 2019. Like, we didn't even get to hear any songs from Singular Act 2. Oh, well, we heard some, like, Pushing 20 on Singular Act 1 tour. And maybe, um, XL definitely on Singular Act 1 tour, too. But I'm just like, where's the I Can't Stop Me? Where's the take off while you're cool like please perform that for the girlies if she wants to do like some really big throwbacks like freaking evolution era throwbacks i would love to hear on purpose and feels like loneliness everything else you know if you want to do it you, you can do it but please give me on purpose and feels like loneliness i feel like i'm doing so fast right now but it's i don't know i've also not been saying anything that i've been doing but that's okay because you don't need to know because it's not like something that should be followed i feel like like it's just very for me and if you get it you get it. and if you don't you don't <laughs> i would never tutorial because like i'm still a new makeup early too it's only been like a year that i've like gone into it and i have like the most simplest little routine that i only do for special little occasions like this one. Oh, also the opener the opener is girl house miss sabrina announced the opener so freaking late like a week before so like a week ago and i've been hardcore listening to them all i like looked up old tours because like they've opened for other people before so i looked up like other tours that they've done and like their set lists for those and i've been listening to like those songs because like they repeat a lot so yeah um i actually they're like really good i highly recommend listening to them before your show um before you go see sabrina honestly it's really fun listening to the openers beforehand for any show really because it's just like you're getting two performances for the price of one and especially if you like the artist like it's really cool finally on the list mascara and it's 250 we're actually making a good time right now this is what we're working with i feel like you it's literally like nothing but watch it's like always it always feels like nothing at first but then it's the a mascara and then the lip gloss that always ties everything together we're gonna do settings right now and then put on the lip gloss i don't know if that is like how things are supposed to go but that's how i'm about to do it. that's how i'm about to do it that's how i'm about to do it <laughs> so yeah okay so i'm like oh my god setting spray like you're literally gonna melt my whole makeup off like you're gonna make my mascara run but like it never happens but i always feel like it will dude final aspect of the look is the lip gloss Oh, let me get out of frame for that. Uh, sorry, I can't talk to you all right now. Is that good? That's good enough. I'll have to like add a little bit more before we go. How do we look? How do we look? <laughs> that was disgusting. I'm gonna get changed really fast. Didn't wanna have to do it. I wish I had
wanted to do a post-concert debrief like moment after my show but it was like one o'clock in the morning and i was so tired and exhausted and dehydrated and hungry that i was just like you know what no we'll do it the next day so now it's the next day night now because i slept for many 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 hours because i was so freaking tired from standing up for like eight hours straight pretty much so yeah now here we are and i'm going to tell you guys about my experience in a very succinct hopefully way first i'm just going to show you guys what i got as like the vip stuff so first we got this little um sign poster has all the tour dates on it which is like so fun and then um we got this notebook which is really cool it says it's times like these wish i had a time machine so i can go to the emails i can't send tour again and i'm like oh that's adorable and i will be using that and then we got this vip laminate which is really fun and cute so overall the concert was so amazing if you can't tell by the videos and i definitely did not put um a lot of videos in because i was watching the back and my voice is atrocious but um oh my god she looked one she looked amazing in her fit slay big fat slay the song choices she did honeymoon fades so good i was screaming my heart out she looked at me we held eye contact we're best friends now so yeah um but yeah that happened and overall it was just such a good show such a good show but but this was probably one of the most chaotic experiences i've had in a while at a concert <laughs> it was probably very normal for any like ga people but for um the vip people there's like three different types of vip she has and oh oh baby it was chaotic so i definitely mentioned this like 75 times now but like just to reiterate i had the fast times vip which is like the vip one the like the highest one whatever so they did the check-in they gave us like the bag of all our stuff like um the little merch items i just showed you guys and we went in we did the q a she answered like, a couple questions and then after that it was like a little sound check thing she did the acoustic version of fast times bad for business and then looking at me surprising and then um so after the sound check she left and then the people from the venue maybe her team too i don't know but people from the venue they were like okay guys like now you guys need to leave and we were like what's happening because like we were already like in the actual like place where the show was about to happen they're like no you guys all need to leave so it was like the fast times vip and then the next vip which is like bet you wanna because like they got sound check but like we get a q a and the sound check but they got the sound check so like they were in with us now and like we all had like the bracelets on so like yeah guys like you need to leave like you have your bracelets like that's how we're gonna know like who got who comes in first like blah 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 and we were like um this is weird but okay and they literally made us leave not just like the pit area they also made us leave like the whole venue like we had to go back outside again because like when they checked us in they just asked for our name we showed our id to get our vip package stuff and then they gave us our ticket and they were like oh we didn't scan your actual ticket so like that's why you guys all need to come outside and then we waited outside for like 30 minutes and then they like were like okay now we're gonna scan your ticket and you guys can go back inside which is very very stupid because it's like if you know I'm on the VIP list, then obviously you know that I have a freaking ticket because the VIP comes with the ticket. So yeah, we were waiting outside for like 30 minutes and then they scanned our tickets. We went back inside and then we couldn't go back inside to the actual like stage area again. We were like right outside the door of like where we could get pit and like the seats or whatever. So then we waited there for like another good 30 minutes because like the um, opener was sound checking or something. So then after the opener finished sound checking, then we were able to go in. And yeah, it was just such a chaotic, exp chaotic experience. Maybe this won't happen to you guys, I hope. I sincerely hope that doesn't have to happen to you guys. Um, 
because I hated every moment of this. It was so stressful. I made friends at this point. We were like, okay, so this is only like two, two explanations for this. Like either this venue is like really, really like messed up. Like why did any of this happen? This was very backwards. Like maybe it's just the venue or it's because we're the first show and like things are chaotic and like maybe things will be better at other shows. Hopefully that means this won't happen for you whenever you go to your show, but just in case, if you have VIP and stuff, be prepared to have the Q&A with her, have the sound check, and then have to leave the venue, and then have to come back in. So just be prepared for that, just in case that happens for you. I really hope it doesn't have to happen. Other than that, it was a great experience. I loved it. Oh, and then after the concert, I would say like maybe like 50-ish people like stayed, because like sometimes she comes out like, the last tour, she like would come out after the show and like greet people and be like, hey, hi, blah, blah, blah. So like um, a bunch of people decided to like stay after, but she didn't have a tour bus. So people like found this door and like, oh, this is the car that she's gonna leave. And it was like huge like SUV. And like the security people from the venue now are like so nice. They're like, yeah, this is where she's gonna exit. Like guys stand behind this barricade. Like if you jump over, like we're gonna have to, you know? And we were like, okay, no, like we're fine. Like, thank you so much. We waited till like 12 and she came out. She just like got in her car and like drive, drove away, but like she still like stopped for like a second and was like, oh my God, you guys, like I love you so much. Like I have the video of it. I'll insert it like after this. But she's like, oh my God, I love you guys so much. Like stay safe. Don't get COVID. Like stay safe. I love you guys. Like, oh, this was amazing. Blah, blah, blah. And she got in her car and then like drove away. And that was that. I waited two hours just for her to say that. I don't regret it. I don't regret it. That whole thing is what really made me exhausted. And I was like, yo, I'm just going to sleep when I come back and not having my post-concert debrief. So I had it now for you guys. You're welcome. And that's it for this video, finally. Um, also, random, but like, um, Joey King and Liza Koshi were at that show and I saw them both like leave. The door that um, Sabrina eventually left at and like drove away in her car, that's also the door that Liza and Joey left too and like got on their Ubers and left too. And I didn't get any videos of it because I was like in shock of that happening. But yeah, okay. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for listening and having a blast with my concert vlog. Maybe I'll do more concert vlogs if you guys like. My next concert isn't for a long while and I'm actually gonna go with friends for that concert. So like maybe no concert vlog for there. But um, if you guys want it, maybe. But anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. And stay tuned for a couple seconds from now where you'll see that video of her driving away in her pretty little car. She wasn't actually driving, she had a driver. Cause I was like, what if people think like she was actually driving like that Twitter thing of like Ariana Grande like driving home from her own sweetness show and her Tesla with like her huge glasses on. No, um, Sabrina didn't do that. She had a little driver. Yeah, anyway, that's it for this video for all this time. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Bye.